In this video, we're going to learn how to do some very simple animation of the sprite. One thing that might save you a lot of trouble on this is that if you just bring in an image as a sprite, if you go load image and you choose to load an animated GIF, then that animated GIF will already have cells in it and you can proceed with that and that'll have done a lot of the work for you. But let's make one from scratch. So we go here and we create this image here and I'm just going to go in and make this guy, I don't know, I'm going to give him a colour, make him blue. Might be her blue, come to think of it. I don't know why I'm gendering my, my sprites, but there you have it. So, what I can do is I can actually put an empty image at the end. I also suspect that I can copy and paste my images. So I'm going to have my first eight images being blue. And then I'm going to create another one which is, let's get something that's not so terribly different, green. So I'm going to fill that. See if that works, yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to copy and paste that so that I've got eight of those and eight of those. Now they're reordering a bit, but that's okay. So now when I see this, what it's going to do is play those like an animation. So let's see them in action. So this is my bullet sprite. And let's see this animation. So I'm going to fire a bullet. And there you go. It is changing from one color to another. So you can change your sprite depending on its frames there. So that's the easiest way to do it, is just to have your pictures there. I wouldn't spend too much time on that. But another good trick that I did find along the way is that I started with green, and what I'm going to do is delete all those other ones there so that I just have green, because there's all these quite cool tools in animation. And the one I quite liked was fade to color. So I'm going to fade from there to this burnt orange, and I'm going to frame there in 24 frames. And what it does is it graduates it from one color to another so that I very easily have this object which is making quite a nice transition between the colors and it saves me the work of having to do all of that. So when we watch this launch, I'm expecting the object to come up any second actually. There we go. And I fire it. And as you can see, it transitions from that green through to that color and all the way back. Now I suspect the frames are the same as steps, so there's roughly 30 of those in a minute. But that's your basics of animating your sprite.